Welcome to an exciting adventure to explore some of the most fascinating prehistoric animals that ever roamed the earth. In this video, we will be learning about Smilodon, Mammoths, Androsarchus, and Indracotherium. These incredible creatures lived millions of years ago, and even though they are now extinct, we can still learn so much about them. Get ready to travel back in time and discover the amazing features and characteristics that made these animals so unique and remarkable. So buckle up, and let's get started. It is a Smilodon. Smilodon was a prehistoric cat that lived during the Pleistocene epoch around two and a half million to 10,000 years ago. It is often called the saber-toothed tiger, but it was actually not closely related to modern-day tigers. The most distinctive feature of Smilodon was its long, curved canine teeth, which were around 7 inches long. Their powerful jaws could generate a force of up to 1,000 pounds per square inch, making it one of the strongest biters of all time. Smilodon was not as fast as other predators of its time, like the American lion or the cheetah, but it was incredibly strong and could take down large prey. Scientists think that they was a social animal and lived in groups, kind of like modern-day lions. Smilodon's fossils have been found in North and South America, and there were several different species of Smilodon, each with slightly different physical characteristics. It was a very muscular and athletic animal, weighing up to 600 pounds and standing around 3 feet tall at the shoulder. Despite its fearsome reputation, Smilodon went extinct around 10,000 years ago, probably due to climate change and competition with other predators. It is one of the most well-known prehistoric animals, and it has inspired countless movies, books, and works of art. It is a mammoth. Mammoths were prehistoric relatives of modern-day elephants, and they lived during the Pleistocene epoch, which was around two and a half million to 10,000 years ago. There were several different species of them, including the woolly mammoth, the Colombian mammoth, and the imperial mammoth. Woolly mammoths were adapted to living in cold environments and had long, shaggy fur to keep them warm. They were herbivores and mainly ate grasses, leaves, and other plants. The tusks of mammoths could grow up to 16 feet long and were used for a variety of purposes, including digging for food, defending against predators, and fighting with other mammoths. They were very large animals, with the largest species standing up to 13 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 12 tons. Scientists have found well-preserved mammoth fossils in places like Siberia and Alaska, and they have been able to learn a lot about these prehistoric animals from studying them. Woolly mammoths were adapted to living in a cold, snowy environment and had several unique features, including small ears and a layer of fat under their skin to help keep them warm. These creatures coexisted with early humans, and there is evidence that humans hunted and ate mammoths for food. Unfortunately, all species of mammoths went extinct around 4,000 years ago, likely due to a combination of climate change and hunting by humans. It is a Androsarchus. Androsarchus was a prehistoric mammal that lived around 45 to 36 million years ago during the Eocene epoch, making it one of the earliest known large mammals. It was one of the largest mammals of its time, measuring up to 16 feet in length and weighing around 2,000 pounds. Androsarchus had a long, narrow skull with sharp, dagger-like teeth that were adapted for hunting and eating meat. This animal is known from fossils found in what is now Mongolia, indicating that it lived in an area that was once covered by forests and rivers. Despite its massive size, Hendrosarchus is believed to have been a swift runner, capable of chasing down its prey. It is thought to have been a carnivorous predator that hunted small to medium-sized mammals, such as early horses and deer-like animals. Androsarchus likely had a keen sense of smell and hearing, which would have helped it locate its prey in its forest habitat. It lived during a time when the Earth's climate was much warmer than it is today, 
with tropical forests covering much of the planet. The exact appearance of Andrasarchus is still a subject of debate among scientists, as only fragmentary fossils have been found. Some reconstructions depict it as a wolf-like animal, while others suggest it may have had a more bear-like appearance. Andrasarchus went extinct around 36 million years ago, and no modern-day relatives of this ancient mammal exist today. However, its fossils provide important clues about the evolutionary history of mammals and the ecosystems of the past. It is an Indracotherium. Indracotherium was a prehistoric mammal that lived approximately 23 to 34 million years ago during the Oligocene epoch, making it one of the largest land mammals that ever lived. It was also known as the Paraceratherium, which means near the hornless beast, as it was closely related to modern-day rhinoceroses, but lacked a horn. Indracotherium was a herbivorous animal that likely fed on leaves, twigs, and other vegetation found in its forested habitats. This creature was enormous, standing up to 18 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing up to 20,000 pounds, making it one of the heaviest land mammals in history. Indracotherium had a long neck and a small, slender head, which was adapted for browsing vegetation high up in the trees. Its legs were tall and thin, allowing it to reach high vegetation while also supporting its massive body weight. Indracotherium likely lived in forested areas and along rivers in what is now Central Asia, including modern-day China, Mongolia, and Kazakhstan. It had no known predators, as it was simply too large and powerful for any other animal to take down. The fossils of Indracotherium were first discovered in the 1920s by Russian paleontologists and have since been found at several sites throughout Central Asia. Despite its massive size, it went extinct around 23 million years ago, possibly due to climate change and the shifting of its forest habitats. Its fossils provide important insights into the evolution and diversity of prehistoric mammals. If you enjoyed this video, my little friend, don't forget to subscribe to Animal Kingdom TV and click on the bell in order always to be the first to discover and learn about all kinds of amazing creatures.